Hello and welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us for Digital Marketing Masters Class. My name is Todd Smith. I'm the VP of Partner Growth here at Faratech. I'm joined by Chris Carr. He is the CEO of Faratech. Chris, thanks for joining us today. How are we doing? Oh, we're good, man. We got an interesting topic today. Uh, today's topic is a little different from our normal topics, uh, but here's the topic. You ready? Yep. What is the value of using one agency for SEO and web? Like what's the yeah. value, you know, cause you can have separate companies kind of working together, which is mm -hmm. fine, but what's the value inherently in having one company do both for you? Well, I mean, I think a lot of what the challenges are, right. Uh, the, the value comes down to overcoming the challenges. And what I mean by that is that the challenges that you see not time and time again is, is that you have specialists, specialists that are really good at SEO. Okay. You have other specialists who are really good at web development. And then what happens here is, is that an SEO, um, you know, an SEO team knows what's wrong, but then they got to hand it off to somebody and then they have to wait and hope that they do it right. And they have to yeah. micromanage And Then you hope that two different companies have synergy with one another. Okay. And, that makes sense. You know, even if they're strategic partners, right. If it's not under one roof, okay. nine times out of 10, there's always going to be problems. Okay. So you, you kind of tipped on this, but, what, what challenges do SEO companies face then? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is, is that if the challenge that an SEO company has is, is that it's expensive to hire web developers. Okay. They're just expensive. Okay. And to do web development well, you'd also probably have to do web design really well. So now you have an expensive developer, you have an expensive designer. And so what happens here is, is that a lot of SEO companies, they can't, they don't complete the full circle. Okay. This thing. And so that SEO company, as great as they can be, is always relying on whoever is going to do the actual work on the website itself. Okay. Unless you're an SEO company that specializes in backlink, backlinks only. Uh, not many companies can do that well. There are a few, but you know, um, for the most part, um, when you don't have things all under one roof, you lose a lot of control. And I think the, the client pays the price for that. Okay. That makes sense. Now, let, let me ask the question, but in inverse. So yeah. um, what challenges the web development companies have that's the one we face the most okay why um, is that you look at a website and they'll come to us and they'll say you know what we built we got a really big great website built it's beautiful tells a great story we're like oh that's fantastic it's like it's invisible can't the find it. websites <laughs> invisible, right then as i say you know it's on page nine for my own name <laughs> you know what i mean Brandy like, traffic. like what did they do wrong and you know that's like oh yeah you know, like, you know, we tell the analogy of like, you go and you buy a car and if it's not clinking, you think, oh my gosh, my car's, my car's great. But I know a lot of people when they buy a used car, the first thing they do is they take it to a, their mechanic and say, hey, you know what, is this car real or not? <laughs> yeah. Because I don't, I'm not smart enough to know the difference. Yeah. Uh -huh. You yeah. know what I mean? And so that's what we get a lot is, is that people have a really great website, but it just doesn't work if, if your goal is to to generate leads and opportunities from your, from the web. Okay. That makes sense. So in a sense, like a website development company alone might not look down the line and look at things like search or conversion. Is, okay. is that what you're saying? Okay. Yeah. I mean, that makes just sense. Think about it, you know, on our team, we have SEO people around the clock. That's all they do. That's what they, they, you know, they, just, okay. they live in dark rooms, just reading right. <laughs> every little twist of an algorithm change. You know, we have software that monitors on gotcha. a daily basis, how often Google's changing the dials and how does it impact SEO? How does it impact content? How does it impact social media? All that stuff. It's not like, it's not like, Oh, I can just get a training course and I'm good. I mean, it's literally like it's changing minute by minute. Okay. That makes you sense. Know? All right. So, so I'm going to give you an opportunity to give Faratech a little plug here. Um, yep. So, what does Faratech do differently? Like, like how, how do we separate the fact that we're not just SEO, we're not just web, we're not just inbound? Like what, yeah. what do we do differently? Well, we take it in the shins. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Every day. No, I, I mean it. I mean, like we realize that it's an incomplete argument to not have these people under this roof. And so we have a pretty big team that because we said, you know what? My web developer deserves a great designer and my web development team deserves to have their websites ranking. And so what I did was, you know, over the last 20 years, I put them all under one roof. 
Mm-hmm. And that's very rare to have yeah. that. You know, a lot of people outsource pieces of components. Especially, especially in COVID, it's hard, it's hard to get everybody on one roof. Yeah, yeah. And so that's 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 really important for us is, is to just kind of get it there. You know, I mean, keep in mind, we have some guys, you know, um, that we outsource certain components to, but large majority of it is all, you know, it's all from one place. Okay, that but makes sense. What I, what I feel is, is that if you just – have a problem and you hire the cheapest possible contractor to solve it. Yeah. You know, the, 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 the client eventually just pays the price. They paid for it. Yeah. 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 It might, it might be easy to take in the short run, but the long term yeah. effect is, is going to be felt. So, all right. So you made a good argument for Faratech, right? Yep. So, you know, SEO web all under one roof. Um, what, kind of results have you seen like how like can you give us a good example like if i'm out there and i'm watching this right now and i'm like oh it sounds great you know i do it you know one-stop shop we do it all in house Uh, everybody says that right but like you know show me the pudding yep yep well let me let me share my screen real quick uh can you see that no okay hold on no Okay, so that's not sharing. Mm-mm. See, it's sharing on my. Give me one second here. You don't see that? Hey, Todd. Yeah, I'm here. Yep. Okay, great. Uh, I guess we'll edit this in post-production, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, are you able to see the, yeah, I see, I see it now. It looks good. Okay. Real quick. So let's go back and we're going to go like this. Yep. Definitely. All yeah. Right. I, and then my, so see if you can my, ask my, my screen totally crapped out by the way. Oh, okay. I, right. I had to come back in. It okay. said something went wrong. Yeah. All right. So, All right. I'm, why don't why don't you ask the question again? Yep. What kind of results have you seen? Yep. All right. Give me uh give me ten seconds. Seven forty. We'll go in. Yep. Can you write that down somewhere? I, I'm at, I am. Great. Yep. Five seconds. All right, Chris. So that makes sense. You know, I think I, I think you've made a good argument for why you want it under one roof. And you know, of course, everybody says one stop shop. We do it all in house. But really, mm-hmm. when it comes down to it. What I want to see, and I think what our audience would like to see, is, is show me the proof. You know, like the proof is in the pudding. So show it to me. Like, give me some analytics that says this is why it makes sense to do it this way. Is that something you can do? Absolutely. All right, cool. Let's so, see. It. Let me. I'll just kind of tell you a story here, real quick. So we have a client. They're called Emerge Ortho. They're the largest um, orthopedic provider in the state of North Carolina. Their backstory is they had five or six different major practices that were all throughout the state. And they put put them all under one roof. They all had different websites. They all had SEO as a critical priority. We had to basically take them right from the beginning of this process. We had to understand their goals. We had to understand how they were going to do uh, content. We had to understand how they do local SEO. But most importantly, when we rebuilt the website, we had to figure out how to make it so that, you know, when we put all these things under one roof, how to 301 redirect them and how to do all the science and nerdy stuff to make sure that the rankings didn't drop. And, uh, you know, we had a really great outcome. Um, so this right here marked, um, you know, kind of the beginning of the relationship with them. We started working with, they, this was them. And then we inherited the client in December. We started developing SEO content on their existing website. Gotcha. We had not published the new website yet. Okay. And as you can see, it's just starting to grow. It's starting to grow. You know, it's gone from 24,000 to around 26,000. Then we launched the new website. Uh, in, yeah. in, May, in May of this year? Yeah. Okay. We did a ton of publicity to try to, you know, get it to rank. And so we had a really great launch. You know, you're going from, you know, 17,000 to 43,000. You know, I've pretty much doubled Eight months. their traffic. And then once it sort of not leveled off, but once it got a little bit more realistic and the pop was over, yep, it was able to go from 17 to 31,000, pretty much doubling their traffic yeah. in a world where COVID yeah. was 
You know what I mean? There was just yeah. not a lot of people going to the doctors. Yeah. It's so in, in just one year, we were able to double the traffic. Yeah. I believe that so much of that came back to the idea or the concept of we knew what had to be accomplished on an SEO front. We knew what had to be accomplished on, on the web development front, but how do you marry the two? Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. So, yeah. um, but my last question for you is, you know, obviously we're very transparent with our customers, but, but how can you be sure, you know, if you're working with somebody that maybe is just SEO or maybe just web development, but they're saying all under one roof, like how can you be sure that that's, not the case or that yep. is the case, you know? Yep. Well, let me clarify too, you know, in a, in a world where most of us are virtual, you can still yeah. have tar employees that are overseas. But the question is, are they seamlessly integrated into your team? Sure. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. um, and so that's going to be a big one. So one of the things that we, that we strive to do or that we did very well is we were in a scenario where we, um, we developed a really strong team and then what we were finding is what are the critical things that we're hearing all the time from the, the, the projects and the clients that we're inheriting, like where, where are these other guys failing? And so what we did is we created this ebook specifically designed for SEO It's called the top 50 SEO questions that you need to ask your vendor mm. um, before you would hire them. That's cool. And in that ebook, we're going to ask questions. You know what I mean? That's saying yeah. like, can I meet your team? Are they going to join us for calls? Sure. Mm -hmm. How often do they plug in? What happens when you run into scenarios where, you know, um, SEO uh, web development things have to be done? Like, do I have to fill out a form or you're going to see these telltale signs, but my number one thing is ask them directly. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, because if they're outsourcing, they're commonly doing it to the lowest bidder. Okay. And, that makes sense. Know, um, okay. Um, you're probably going to pay the price. No, I appreciate that. And, and you would hope that, you know, for the most part, people will be upfront with it. Um, not that outsourcing is bad, but there could be some disadvantage, disadvantages to it. Yep. I'm yeah. saying it's bad when you're trying to marry web and SEO okay. together. That makes sense. Because in the on-page SEO portion of this, the synergy has to be really strong. Okay. No, that, that makes perfect sense. Yep. Okay. If your SEO, like I said, if your SEO provider strata does a lot of stuff that's primarily based in backlinks, Right. You might be able to get away with it, but gotcha. Yep. So it, it depends on the scenario. Uh, hey, Chris, uh, for the for the purposes of this episode, do you think we can put the link to that ebook uh, somewhere? Yeah. In yeah, that, 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 that that'd be valuable. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna put that. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm gonna put it below in the comments. Okay. Awesome. Uh, in, in post production, I'll also put where you can get it on our screen. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Chris, well, thank you so much for your time. Yep. I, I appreciate your uh, your candidness and willingness to you know share that success story. Um, yeah. about a merge ortho. That's re really kind of, it's interesting. Like it's, it's mind blowing when you look at those numbers. Um, yeah. But thank you very much and uh, appreciate your time. Yeah, this is great. But one last thing I do want to make sure that if you are a new, um, if you're watching our show for the first time, please subscribe, please click on that bell to get notifications. Cause we try to pump out content as often as possible and also comment below because we want to know, right. What, what things do you agree with? What didn't you agree with? How can we help or how can we do our show and make it better? Awesome. All right. Thanks again. Hey, thanks for your time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.